Hey, hi guys. My name is Prashant Pradeep. I'm from the Cloud Data Integration Global Customer Support Team. And in today's session, we will be covering a quick demo on how we can use the file list and the command option with the flat file connectors in Cloud Data Integration. Without any further ado, let's get started. Let's quickly cover what is the agenda for the video. In this video, we will be covering what is the file list and the uh, and the command mode with the flat file connectors. We will be covering the business use case, a quick demo, um, and we'll wrap it up with the summary of what we have covered. So let's quickly review what is the file list and the command mode with the flat file connectors. This is also called as an indirect read mode where you can provide uh, the flat file connection with the list of files you want to process. The flat file connections will process all the files and then concatenate the output to a target. There are two modes on how we can uh, on how we can achieve this use case. The first one is the file list option, and the second one is the command command mode option. A quick heads up: when you are using the file list or the command mode, you should ensure that the metadata of all the files that we are consuming is the same. Um, that's the first uh, first uh, note. <laughs> and then secondly, you should also ensure that the files used for the metadata fetch is always present on the secure agent server. We'll cover more on the point two in the in the next uh, demo. So let's review the business use case. So when we are using the file list option, um, most likely there'll be an upstream process which generates a file. Uh, like in this example, we have a file called test uh, test uh, file underscore list dot lst and uh, this file which is generated by the upstream process will have the list of all the files which we need to process as you can see it's a fully qualified path in example second use case and we are using the command mode we might have a scenario where files from the upstream process are uh, are moved to a staging location every day and uh, and this this staging location has files in a certain pattern we need to process the files in the staging location and once processed we need to move the files to another location called process or delete those files as as in this case you can see i have created two two scripts one is consume files.sh and the one other one is post processing script.sh in the consumes file.sh i am basically listing out all the files uh, which has the pattern test star and once the files uh, once i get the list of files uh, which i need to process i process the files and then after the processing is done i move all the processed files uh, which has a pattern test star to another to another location called processed so let's quickly get started with the demo uh, in the first demo we will be covering the file list uh, we will be covering the file list mode Okay, so in the first use case, we are going to cover the file list mode demo. So let's quickly review this demo. So I've, I've created a simple mapping with source and target uh, file. And uh, uh, as you can see, I have selected the uh, I selected uh, the flat file connection the source with the source type as file list and I have provided uh, I have selected uh, a file called test underscore file underscore list dot lst this is an indirect file let's quickly review what are the contents of this file let's quickly review what are the contents of this file so as you can see I have the file uh, test underscore file underscore list dot lst when I do a cat on this file, I have the following. I have the following contents. The uh, this con this file contains the entire um, the entire path, and uh, followed by the file name which we want to process. So uh, when when we're using the file list option, the first file in the file list is always used for the metadata fetch. So when I say metadata fetch, uh, what that means is the uh, the incoming fields are always fetched from the first file in the file list uh, in the file list file so uh, let's quickly run this uh, and my target i have selected a flat file connection i have selected a flat file connection with create new at runtime let's quickly run this job and see the output
Let's quickly run this job and see the output. So you can see the job is running and it's completed its execution. Let's quickly review uh, what just happened. So uh, as you can see the files, in the first file I just have the metadata, the second file I have the contents and you can see that the metadata of all the files are the same. Okay and let's review the target file. So you can see that the target file, the target file which just got created has concatenated all, all the output of all these files into a single file like, like so and hence it's very simple to use the file list option as an indirect read mode when you want to concatenate, uh, concatenate a list of files from a file list into a target and uh, that's a quick demo on the file list option. Now let's quickly cover a demo on the command mode. Now let's quickly cover the demo on the command mode. Um, so the command mode is the command mode is a lot similar to the file list option. So in the command mode, we select the source type as command, and we uh, so in the case of the file list option, the incoming fields are fetched from the first file in the uh, in the file list. But in case of the command mode, we need to select a we need to select a sample object which has the metadata which we are going to consume. So I've selected the file test underscore metadata which has the which has the metadata which I want to consume. And now let's quickly review the script which I've written. So here you can see in the command I've provided a path to a shell script. So in case your agent is a Windows agent, you will be providing the path to a Windows agent server. Uh, you'll be providing a path to the batch script in the security agent server. So this is my script. It's a very simple script which lists the files of type pattern test star. So let's quickly execute this script. So you can see that when I execute the script, I get all the files. Um, I get all the file names which I, I need to process okay and um, I also have in addition to this script I also have a post processing script which I'm, I've created a mapping task for this mapping by clicking on the three dots and clicking on new mapping task mapping task which I've created I have provided a post processing script Now the post processing script basically moves the file. Let me just quickly show you the post processing script. The post processing script simply moves the file with pattern test star to another location uh, processed. So this will ensure that once the task is executed. So now you can see that if I do an ls-lrt over here in this location, you in this location if I do an ls-lrt on this location I get the list of all the files now uh, if I do an ls-lrt in this location you will see that there are there are no files in this particular directory okay so now let's see what happens after we execute the task Okay, the task is completed successfully. Now if I do an ls-lrt with pattern star, you can see that the test star, there is no files. I'm going to do that again. If Now if you see that if I give the command ls-lrt test star, you see that there are no files and all the files have been moved to the processed location which confirms that all the data of this has been processed. Similarly, if we also view the output file of ours, you will see that the output file now contains the concatenated output of all the files we just processed. I hope you found this session helpful. 
you can refer to the documentation link which I've provided uh, which further explains the details what we have covered in this video tutorial if you love this video we would love to hear from you you can feel free to reach out to us at support videos at the rate informatica.com or you can also reach out to us in in twitter by tagging us at infosupport thank you so much have a great day thank you